a life filled with moments of pure joy. Frustrating challenges and true love. Everything in this kitchen is wheelchair accessible. 30-year-old Achla Margo has been a paraplegic since childhood. Life in India isn't easy for her and her husband Deepak. But at least they've made their ground floor apartment in Delhi disabled friendly. They can get by without assistance. There's uh, nothing like that. There's no provision, anything provided by government for uh, domestic help. So we haven't tried even yet because we know there's no point. Achla has been disabled since she was eight, when a surgeon severed a nerve in her back during a botched operation. It was unbelievably hard. I wondered why I had to suffer while everyone else was leading a normal life. I wanted the ground to swallow me up and often contemplated suicide. I continually asked myself, why me? Why did this happen to me? Achla and Deepak have overcome many obstacles. Deepak was born disabled. In India, families with disabled children don't receive government support. But Achla and Deepak made it through school and university, working their way into the middle class. It was a huge struggle. I'm from a poor family and have four siblings. Money was always tight. It's especially tough for people in India with that kind of background. The couple met on Facebook and married a year ago. Indian parents usually arrange their children's marriages, that is, unless they're disabled. In these cases, family and friends are reluctant to help due to the stigma surrounding handicaps. Achla wants to show us what that means for her life. The bus stop in front of her house is supposed to be disabled friendly, but it's in a bad state and wheelchair access is not possible. So Achla waits on the street. Street hawkers and passers-by stare at the disabled woman. No one offers her help. And even though she's in plain view, the bus drivers don't bother to stop and pick her up. It's always like this. We leave the house in a good mood and head out on our own. But that's where the problems start. There are no wheelchair ramps, and if there are, they're not usable. We can't get onto the buses. The metro's a lot better, but it's really hard just getting into the station. Achla has a car, which she can drive using only her hands. But last year, she had an accident. She didn't drive for a long while after that. But now she's back behind the wheel and driving to work. All being said, Achla has a relatively good life. She has a car and a job, unlike most disabled people in India. It's really hard to find a job. I work for the government. That's not bad. But my husband works for a company. It's almost impossible to get a job in the private sector. He had so many interviews, and many bosses say quite openly they won't hire disabled people. After work, Achla Mago is going to a party. It's a kind of a speed dating night for the disabled. Achla is one of the few who is married here. Nevertheless, she wants to meet up with people who are in a similar situation to her. And of course, have a bit of fun. There aren't a lot of parties like this in India. Traditionally, the disabled are too ashamed to go out in public or are kept out of sight by their families. That's why few have a partner. Everybody just expect a normal partner for him or her, mostly the boys and their family expect to be, uh, to have a normal, abled bride. As the party wraps up, most of the guests head home to relative solitude. But Achla's husband is waiting for her. She has luck and love in her life. <laughs>